Hi, this is Paul Savetto of Windows Phone Central, here with a video review of Final Fantasy for Windows Phone. It's an Xbox Live title from Square Enix. Where is that Square Enix? You tell me. Final Fantasy is the first traditional role-playing game in the Xbox Live lineup on Windows Phone. At the start, you choose... You have four different characters. You need to choose what classes they are. Here's the different options. Each one excels at different things. Poor Monk, he's basically the odd man out. He's not very useful. And uh, you can also name the characters. Now here we are at the start of the game. You can walk around and wait for enemies to attack you, or you can go into a town or the castle up above. This is Cornelia, the first town. There's an inn where you can rest or recover hit points. That's pretty important early in the game. You walk around by pressing on this virtual D-pad, and you can run faster by pushing this white button that appears when you're moving over here. Nice little improvement. Just tapping anywhere on the screen allows you to talk to people once you're close to them. You can interact with certain objects, like this fountain. So the town is filled with different shops to buy equipment from you can go to a church to resurrect a fallen comrade. That's important early on. Not very much so later. Here's the church. You are fighting a big group of enemies. You can use items during battle. This is actually an important part of being successful in this game is collecting these stabs and using them as items. And here we go. Now everybody makes their attacks. Here's the familiar Final Fantasy victory music. So you eventually get different ways to move around the map. This is a canoe. It lets you move through shallow water like rivers. It opens up several new areas when you first get it. Now here is a sailing ship. This also opens up more of the game's three continents to the players. You can still be attacked while you're in the water though. Finally we have the airship. The fastest mode of transportation in the game, also the most versatile. You can only land in green grassy areas, like right here. But it moves a lot faster than the regular ship or walking. You can't be attacked while flying. And it can reach areas that are surrounded by mountains and stuff that no other vehicle can. So if you have trouble getting around, it is a very large world after all. You can look up resources online, but there is a built-in map. To access it, you press and hold here, and here comes the map. We're, we are the white dot on the map, and that glowing dot is the position of the regular ship. Also, any place that you've been to, you can highlight its name, and it'll be pointed out on the map. Very handy when you have to backtrack. We can also view our character's stats. There. He's doing all right. From here you can save the game. You can save it almost any time, except certain dungeons. And you have three different save files to use at any given time. Additionally, if you back out or just, uh, you know, press home on the phone or whatever, you will create a temporary save. But that save is deleted if you load up a different save. There are a lot of interesting places to explore. This is the Sunken Shrine. As you can see, it looks fairly pretty. All of the art in this game has been redrawn from the original NES art. It's much nicer looking, pretty much 16-bit quality. One of the objectives of the game is to defeat the four elemental fiends and restore power to these crystals. And here is one such fiend right now, the Kraken. So 
So during a fight, you'll have a healer either heal or buff everybody. This is protect, very important spell. You can have your black mage casting attack spells. And here we go. He hits pretty hard, but we're pretty well leveled up at this point. So we should be able to defeat that nasty Kraken. Final Fantasy is an engaging and addictive RPG. It doesn't have quite as much story as you would expect from modern RPGs or later games in the series, but it does have lots of exploration and good combat, equipment, loot, things like that that RPG fans enjoy. The graphics are great. The music is just beautiful. Final Fantasy costs $6.99, which is the higher end of the Xbox Live pricing spectrum, but it's still a bit less than the iPhone version or the PSP game, which was $20 when it came out. If you like RPGs, you'll certainly get your money's worth. I played it for over 50 hours, and I'm still not quite done with the achievements yet. Thanks for watching. Read the full review at WPCentral.com.